house. Hallelujah. God, we magnify you. God, we begin to lift your name high. Hallelujah. God, we come apart, God, of your worship, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, begin to lift your hands in this sanctuary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and become a part of your own deliverance. Become a part of your healing. Become a part of your miracle. Hallelujah. 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 God is simply looking for a sound. He's waiting on you. Hallelujah. His presence is already here. Hallelujah. He's already here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of God says he inhabits the praises of his people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God, we lift you up on today, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we came expecting you to move on today, God. God, God, we lift you up, God, we lift you up, God, we magnify you. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. God, I feel my help in this place. God, oh, God, you're a miracle worker. You're Jehovah Jireh. You're Jehovah Shalom. Oh God, we lift you up, we lift you up, God. Oh yeah, God, you're Jehovah Rapha, God. You're the God that heals. You're the God that delivers, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we invite you in, God. Hallelujah, God. We invite you in, God. We invite you in, God. Hallelujah, God. You're the King of Kings. You're the Lord of Lords. God. God. You're a consuming fire. God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We saturate this place, God, with your anointing. Saturate this place, God, with your anointing. God, we bless you. God, we bless you, God. We got activity for our limbs, God. God. We're grateful. We're grateful, God. We honor you, God. We honor you, God. We honor you, God. We honor you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Maybe if I told you that millions didn't make it. Maybe if I told you that somebody didn't wake up this morning, but you woke up. Maybe if I told you that many is in a hospital, hallelujah, hallelujah. If you're able to stand, go ahead and stand. Let's begin to give God praise. Let's begin to lift the worship in this house. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, we magnify you, God, on today. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Oh God. Yes. The Bible says let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Everybody in this place have breath in their body. So I want you to stand. Hallelujah, God. And I want you to shake yourself. Hallelujah, and I want God. you to realize that you are in the presence of Jesus. Yes, God. 
You are in the presence of your king. You are in the presence of your Lord. You are in the presence of your Messiah. You are in the presence of the one that went to the cross for you. So you got something to praise him for today. So, Father, we begin to lift up your name today, and we begin to bless you in this sanctuary. We begin to give you glory. We give you what you're worthy of. We give you what you're worthy of, Father. So we give you honor in this place. We give you majesty in this place. Oh, God, we worship you in this place, God. We come today to tell you we love you. We come today to tell you we we adore you. We come today to tell you we cherish you. We come today to say that we, Father, adore you. We come today to say thank you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for saving us. Thank you that our name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Thank you, oh God, that your plans of us are good and not of evil. Your thoughts of us are good and not of evil. So today we're going to shabak you. Today we're going to praise you. We're going to lift up a song in this place, a song of praise. Praise. So I want you to stand and I want you to move and I want you to walk up and down and begin to lift your hands and give God a surrender today. Oh God, let your anointing flow. Let the rivers of healing flow. Let the fire, the fire of you in the glory of you come in this place. Oh God, oh God, let tongues of fire be upon your daughters and sons heads today, God. We thank you, God, for what you're doing right now and what you're going to do. You told us in the prayer retreat that you are the God that performed your strange acts. You performed your strange acts. So we thank you today for every strange act, every strange thing you will do. You are the great God. You are the terrible God. You are the powerful God. You are the great I am. You shake heaven and you shake earth. You are the God that answers by fire. You are the God that never lost a battle. You are our battle wax. So you said, send Judah first. We are Judah. We come with the praises. And as we praise, you fight our battles. As we praise, you restore our families. As we praise, you loose the angels against our enemies. We thank you. We praise you in this place. We bless your name. For you are holy. You are all together right. Righteous, you are all together lovely, the all wise God, the all knowing God, the all seeing God, the high and lofty ones that inhabits eternity. That's where you live, that's where you dwell. In you is no darkness at all. You are all light, you are all light. So we come today with a bow heart and a bow. Oh, head God, and we say, have your way, have your way, move any way you want to move in this place, have your way, speak what you want to speak, do what you want to do, this is your house, this is your bride, Jesus, walk big in this place, magnify yourself, because you are great, 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 big, 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 big God. No one can contain you. Heaven can't contain you. Earth can't contain you. You put the stars in the heaven and you call them by name. Oh God, how great you are. How great you are. How great you are. How great. How great. How great. Under the basana, 
The King of Glory is here. Even in the sound room, in the sound room, the glory. Weight of glory, Kusa da 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 basanda da 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 bosata, basa kasa kana diyande, rosu kuda da da basanda, basa kasa ta ta kasa ta, roko sa ta kasa ta, bisike sa teke, roko sa ta kara da basata, busu kanda la da 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 bosie, ah kasa ta, ah da 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 bosati yanda, bara da bosati ni yanda, ah ando kosa ta. Ah, Kasatanda. Suku Sukurananda. Kasati, the Lidiando. Who Satakasatanando? Ah, Satana. Who said it? Ah, Satanda. Mr. Jack, I just want to anoint your lips. Satananda, if you allow me. Satanda. He said it's a new sound. It's a new sound. Ah, Kasanda. 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 Ora la la ba 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 sakata. Yeah yeah la 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 ba siki ya ya la 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 maseke. Hallelujah, 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah, for the presence of the Lord is in this place. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Lord, we bless your name on this morning. We reverence you this morning. We honor you this morning. We worship you this morning. We praise you this morning. We glorify you this morning. You are our Lord. You are our Savior. You are our Deliverer. You are our way maker. You are our all in all. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. you in 
the midst of all your stuff. Yes. He reached way down. Yes. He's the only one that can pick you up. Yes. He's the only one that can turn it around. Yes. He's the only one that can heal you. Yes. He's the only one that can deliver you. Yes. Who would love a God like that? Yes. When you all alone and just don't know what to do, yes. my father, he just cradles you. He bottles up every one of your teeth. Yes. He trades your sorrow into joy. Yes. Your hurt into victory. Yes. Oh, who wouldn't love a God like that? Yes. Hallelujah. How dare you to just get Hallelujah. that time and say, God, I just want to love on you. Yes, God. Daddy, I want that time with you, that yes. one on one. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Yes. Who would serve a master Holy. like that? Hallelujah. Look how blessed you are. Hallelujah. You got eyes to see. Yes, yes. You got limbs. Yes. The activities of your limbs. Yes. Look at the clothes you wear. Don't know what to wear. You just choose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who serve a God like that in the midst of a pandemic? Yes. You still eat what you want to eat. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. In the midst of everything that's going on, it could have destroyed you, but, but God, God said, that's my child. That's my child. Yes. <laughs> I got my hand of protection all over. Yes. Who wouldn't want to serve a God like that? Yes. Hallelujah. Sorry, I didn't mean to do all of this, but I had to name of Jesus. Yes. Because he's been just that good. Yes. Yes. I could have lost my mind, but God said, you mind, I got you. I, I made Hallelujah. you out of some good stuff. You can go yes. through this. Yes. This is what I'm making of you. Yes. Hallelujah. Who wouldn't want to serve a God like that? Yes. Hallelujah. He's good, y'all. He's Hallelujah. good. Thank you. Fall in love with him. Yes, God. Perform a relationship Hallelujah. with him. Hallelujah. We're going to worship him this morning. You, Come on, Kissy. Help me sing. Hallelujah. 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 Yes.
shall be, I shall roll in victory. No weapon formed against me will ever overtake me. And because God, because God is the greatest power.
never be defeated. today I know the time change but that don't stop the move of God come on can you just look at somebody and say welcome to Nucci come on 
be glad to see you. If I could get off a plane and come straight on here, only had a few hours of sleep, but I had to rest to the house of the Lord. Come on, can you say all we see is victory? Come on, shout all we see is victory. Hey, now y'all know how we do it. Y'all ready? One, two, ready, go. Come on. Come on, this way. Hey, come on, this way. This way. want you to lift your hands and just begin to speak into the realms of the spirit. Come on, begin to talk to daddy. Come on, tell him how awesome he is. Tell him how wonderful he is. Don't get tired. See, God can only fill you at, the, at your capacity. That means you got to enlarge your capacity. That means you got to push. Come on, I tell you to open up your mouths right here. Hey, hey, That's good. That's good. Stay there. Hey, we love you, oh Lord, we love you, oh Lord. We worship your name, oh Lord. We magnify your name, oh Lord. We adore your name, oh Lord. Yeah, yeah. Lord, we thank you. For the move of God that's getting ready to happen in this place. Lord, we thank you. Uh, listen. We were in Puerto Rico. And in the service, the man's legs was like this. Some of y'all seen the video. The man that was holding his, holding his legs. So he, the man's legs were growing in his hand. He said to me, he said... In service, before service, uh, my interpreter, he said that his back had been hurting him. His back had been hurting him. And he said, as we begin to pray for the people with the back, his back completely stopped hurting. But not only that, while we was there, uh, a lady said that um, she was in the service. I had called her out. She was sitting in the far back. And the doctor said she had a fungus all over her entire body. All over her body. And I laid hands on her and I said, behold. I said, God's going to make you hold. And not knowing what the lady had, she said it, she didn't get the healing in the service. She said as she began to go in her house, she stepped on the step. She said literally all of the stuff started running out of her body. She wrote the testimony. She wrote the testimony and she gave it to me. And everybody in there just went crazy. We, we, I was so excited about what God was doing. The girl who won The Voice, I know the, the TV show The Voice. She came running to me. She said, woman of God, every word that you spoke happened. Listen, can I tell you something that God is still speaking? That God is still doing miraculous? That God is still miracles? And I tell you to lift your hands right now. And I tell you to declare and decree that before this month is over. Come on, open up your mouth and say, before this month is over. Me and my family are looking for some big things to happen this month. We're expecting God to do something this month. I want you to say, I declare and decree that before this month ends, before this month ends, my miracle is coming to my house. My blessing is coming to my house. My change is coming to my house. 
down. Come on, pull it in the realms of the spirit. Come on, pull it down. Come on, there's a release. There's a transfer. But you got to grab it. Nothing just happens. Listen, listen. Nothing just happens. Nothing just happens. You got to work for money. You got to do everything. Nothing just happens. You got to do something. Come on, I'm there right now in the realms of the spirit. Come on. there. See, it has to, it has to transport from heaven to earth. Right here, grab your stuff. Say, I'm taking back my stuff. Come on, come on, go in tongues. Come on, there's a transfer. Come on, there's a transfer. Come on, there's a transfer. There's a transfer. Just reach up and say, I got it. Come on, in the sound room, lift your hands. In the media room, lift your hands. Come on, there's a transfer happening. There's a transfer happening. Rashe to komba shaka. Rada de be shake. Raba basha ta te te komba baba basha. Some of them gonna hate they missed this service. They gonna hate they missed this Sunday. Sleeping in because of the time and the hour. They gonna hate they missed this move of God because there's a release that is happening. What time is it? 11:58. At 11:58, there's a release that is just happening. Come on, out there, The release is here. Your change is here. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Do like this. Say some stuff is breaking off of me. I'm not going another day. I'm not going another minute with stuff being held on me. I'm not going another second with stuff being held on me. Free yourself. Come on, free yourself. It's nothing like being free. It's nothing like being free. Come on, even you back there in the media, walk, walk, walk in the media, walk, just walk around, lift your hands. 
Charge your spirit. Come on, Rabba 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 Thank you, God. If he dresses the lily with beauty and splendor, how much more will he clothe you? How much more will he clothe Real slow. If he watches over with me how much singers will it flow you if he wants every lily how much more will he clothe you how much more will he clothe you if he watches over How much more? How much more? How 
Will he watch over you? Yeah. So much more. Right here, just lift your hands in the presence of God. I'm about to take my seat. My body is very tired. As Pastor Ray come. But come on, I want you to speak that this week. This week. Will be a week. Will be a week. Of miracles. Of miracles. This week. This week. The favor of God. The favor of God. The blessings of God. The blessings of God. Will locate me. Will locate me. Come on and put your hands together. Amen. There is a strange anointing in this house. Yes. Can you just lift those hands? Just take one more moment to say something sweet to him. I don't want to rush what the Holy Spirit is doing. I feel in my spirit that he is, he is doing surgery on somebody. Come on, don't miss this moment. This your opportunity to just lift your hands. I hear the Holy Ghost. There's a surgery taking place. Ramandidia Sikibos. Make it day. Moko dia dia Sikito. Surgery is taking place. Kiketa Sukoto Sik. He's mending hearts. You can more caught it. You get the loss. You can do do more. See, unforgiveness, unforgiveness. Some have been hurt by some folk that they trusted, and you have not quite let that thing go. He's doing surgery. Forgiveness, forgiveness. I hear it, I hear it. Forgiveness. It had a man, she could also cut depression, spirit of depression. Quota that I see, it or almost see it. Ma, see it. Spirit of depression, your assignment is counsel. Yeah, 
surgery surgery the work have been done I don't know who you are we didn't have to lay hands on you the spirit of the Lord is here you can receive your deliverance you can receive it you can receive it I don't know I feel it's strange I'm trying to move on but I don't want to I don't want to interrupt what God is doing There's a wave. There's a wave, there's a wave, there's Her tongues, her tongues just clarify that he is here. He is here. He is here. He is here. The interpretation of her tongues declares that he is here. He is here. He is here, says the Lord. Yes. Yes. My mercy. Yes. Her interpretation of her tongues. Don't you miss this moment. He just used her to say that I'm here. I need for you to understand that wherever the presence of the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There is liberty. Don't miss this opportunity. He's here. He's here. Rabbasiki. Seated if you can. Twelve, fifteen. Yeah. 
in. I really want to put this up. Hey Amen. We started a series on our prayers, prayers that gets results. I'm just going to be part two uh, as we uh, go over one or two things I, I would have uh, loved to really uh, speak on some of what we spoke on the other week, but because of the time, I'll just bring up a few points that we spoke on. But can we give it up for our pastor for... for arriving back from Puerto Rico. Uh, safe trip there and changed lives while she was there. And aren't you glad that she is back? Amen. 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 We dealt with uh, one of the points of, of when we are praying that uh, we should not use vain words. In other words, empty words. Uh, um, we also spoke on that God wasn't really... Um, interested in your long prayers, things of that nature. It's not so much that he's not interested in your long prayers because the longer that you pray, it builds your relationship. So please don't twist that the wrong way. Uh, the longer that you pray, you actually build your relationship with him. But it is uh, the things that you're saying within it because you can be praying for an hour, two hours, but then it's only really two or three words that he really caught out of that whole hour. So what we want to do is try to teach you that when you speak, he listens. And the reason why he will listen is because the Bible tells us that he hasting his word. And the Bible declares that he said his word. In other words, he didn't say Raymond's word. So when you are speaking his word, all you are doing is repeating what he said. <laughs> and as you repeat what he says, uh, that's how you get results. So within that hour, whether you pray one hour, 30 minutes, five minutes, it's what you are saying and it's how you approach him. And as we dealt with that on the other week, um, I also wanted to let you know that he's looking for the inward part. As I told you, the sump cut, the subconscious, the area where some things have, have got inside that's hindering. See, oftentimes we get in prayer, in our prayer closet, and we just quoting stuff. Stuff that we heard grandma and them heard. Stuff that we hear these folks saying on these songs. You know, but it's not, it's not coming from here. Because I told you, I shared with you that oftentimes the enemy is right there while you were praying. I gave you an example with Job. When Job, when, when Jesus, when, when God and, and Satan had a conversation about Job. God said, have you considered my servant? And the enemy spoke right back and said, yeah. You got you to hear the protection around him. He said, but if you move it, he'll curse you. And God said, have at it. But where did the conversation take place at? As I told you on the other week, it took place in heaven. So while you are praying in your mind, the very thing that you just done last week, that very thing that keep you from lifting your hands in worship, that don't nobody know about. Amen. And it's not, trust me, don't be ashamed from the pulpit to the bike of the door, from the pulpit to the parking lot. Somebody is dealing with something. Amen. I don't care how long your skirt is. Come on, somebody. It'll go up in the wee wee hours of the night. Yeah. Oftentimes, we, we, we talk about the young generation, about they short, tight stuff. But baby, yours could be loose and long, but yet your mind is just as messed up as theirs. Somebody shout glory. So what God wants, God, God wants that inward man, that, that, that thing that, that talk when you ain't talking. 
Amen? Amen. Amen. So this week, we're going to try to deal with um, how to approach God, how to approach him. Amen? And we'll go to Matthew 6 and 9. Let's go to Matthew chapter 6, starting at verse 9. And it simply says, after this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in heaven as it is in Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. My sister preaching with me. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts we, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Shout amen. I need you to go back at the beginning of that verse and you'll see what Jesus said after this manner. So you got to understand that he was teaching his disciples. It's not that the disciples didn't have a prayer life. Just like you and I today, even though you have been taught just to talk to God and say something to God, that's, that's not what I'm saying to you. They had a prayer life. You have a prayer life. But it's just some things that we got to tighten up a little bit. You know, if the enemy can just, if he can just see a little leak or a little crack in the window, he ease in. So it's, 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 it's me and Pastor Shea, uh, it's, it's our duty to close every gap that we can. Amen? Yeah. That you would become kingdom citizens and not just writing on the application you a Christian. <laughs> but you are walking in authority. Amen. And dominion. Amen. So he said, Jesus said, after this man. Now, I know what you know what manner mean, but I looked it up and it said, uh, now the manner means a way in which a thing is done. As I told you the other week, I let you know that it's titled the Lord's Prayer, but it's really not his prayer. He just gave us a format. He gave us something to go by, a layout. In other words, he was teaching us how to pray. And that's why he said after this manner, in other words, it is a way in which a thing is done. So what I'm showing you is I'm giving you a pattern to follow me. Okay, watch this now. He says, so Jesus is saying, use this as you approach the throne of grace. Use this pattern as you approach, not actually using these words. He is telling us some things about the way we approach prayer holds the key on how to get results when we pray. So he's saying that follow this manner, what I have laid out, and I'm giving you a key that will get you results when you pray. In other words, you won't be like me with gray hair still waiting on something I pray I prayed for 20 years ago. Amen. Let's watch what he say now. He says, he said, when we pray, use this manner, our Father. He is teaching that this kind of prayer produce results. One must first start with an understanding of who we are praying to. So you need to write that down. One must first start with the understanding of who we are praying to. He said the word father. Oftentimes we don't use that when we are praying. A lot of times we use the name Jesus. He was the son. <laughs> he was the son. He is our brother. But father dying in heaven. Even when Jesus prayed, who do he pray for to? 
He called on who? The Father. So oftentimes when we approach the throne of grace, we're using the name Jesus, which is the name that's above every name. The Bible says every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord. And yet that he said it on the right hand of the Father. But the name that we should be praying to is our Father. Watch this now. The word Father here means source. And source means where someone or something came from. Father. Hey, watch this now. It means, also it means sustainer. Someone who upholds or maintains. Father. Father. It means someone who, it means sustainer, someone who upholds or maintains. So Jesus is saying we need to have the relation, the revelation of the fatherhood of our God. Okay, you need to write that down. You need to understand who you are praying to. So in other words, you need to understand that you are praying to your father. So you need to understand fatherhood. Okay, that's what we're going to do today. Okay, we must approach God in prayer as a father. Not this untouchable big God of war, but as a father. God is not a distant lawgiver, <laughs> but a father who is near. But see, when we approach the throne of grace, we approach him as a God. And we reference him so much till we are scared to say what we really mean. In other words, our relationship looks like that there should be a, 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 a marker or something that divides him and I. But in fatherhood, when you see him as a father, your thoughts and your emotions to him are totally different than someone that you feel like is just of war. In other words, you are not intimidated. But yet you don't mind telling how you really feel because this is my father. Oh my God. I I wish I had a church, but, but I need you to understand that when you approach him as a father, there's a difference. There's a difference. So, so let's, let's go to Romans 8, 4 and 15. Twin, please play with me. You know, I, I need a little sound. Eight, and let's go to verse 14 through 15. It says, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are what? They are what? You and I are sons of God. And that's how we should approach him. Watch this now. Verse 15 says, for ye have not received the spirit of bondage, again to what? Fear, but ye have received the spirit of what? Spirit of adoption. Just, he said, but ye have received the spirit of, of adoption, whereby we cry, Albert. Father. Yes. Okay, there they are. Watch this. Watch this revelation. The moment you acknowledge him as father, that's what I'm saying now. 
Soon as you accept him and, and acknowledge him as father, you counsel two spirits that can hinder you. You don't have to say a word to it. You don't have to pray about it. You don't have to roll over on the floor. You don't have to speak in tongues. All you got to do is accept him as your father. And immediately, there's two spirits that's canceled. As soon as you acknowledge him as father, fear got to go. As soon as you acknowledge him, bondage got to turn you loose. Says, as soon as you accept him, as soon as you acknowledge him as a father, not, not this big old God, not this God that's of war. Yes, he will ride the white horse. Yes, he will ride the black horse. Yes, he will fight for you. But at this moment, I need. When you accept him as your father, there's some stuff that's canceled automatically. He said one was the spirit of bondage. Bondage is simply imprisonment. <laughs> so whatever got you locked down, whatever is holding you, Whatever is speaking to you in the wee wee hours of the night, whatever that's telling you that you can't do it, it gotta turn you a loose. Somebody shout, I'm free. Oh, come on and open your mouth and say, I'm free. Gotta turn you loose. It don't have a choice in this matter. It's not for up for negotiation. Baby, that's when I accept him. You got to turn me loose. Whatever I'm struggling with, whatever I'm going through, whatever is delaying my stuff, it got to turn me loose. Shout, set me free. Second thing, as soon as you acknowledge him as... Your father is fear. You all know the scripture, 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For God have not given us the spirit of fear. Somebody shout, but of power and of love and a sound mind. no longer a slave you no longer a slave you you have been adopted into the family where you was yet in the darkness but now you're walking in the light because you have been accepted in the family so you don't have to sit there and watch them walk to the refrigerator and get a ham sandwich <laughs> Baby, you can get up and go to the refrigerator on your own. You don't have to ask if it's in there. You know how it is. You over four house. You see everybody else going in and out, but you got to sit there. But today, as you accept him as your father, baby, you ain't got to ask nobody to get you no water. You ain't got to ask nobody to get you some Kool-Aid. You can get up and get it yourself. I feel the Holy Ghost. He said, watch this. 
But let me, let me, let me put a pen in something. When, when you look at the word adoption, you still kind of feel some way, Sister Care. It's, it's nothing like when you push and, and give birth on your own. And then somebody comes in the house and they obtain this, the same last name that you got. And sometimes a little jealousy get in the way. <laughs> and you see the one that's adopted moving a little close to mama and daddy. Because I'm talking good. And you go to fit some kind of way. But let me tell you about this adoption. Let me tell you how awesome it is to be adopted. What's this? Now, now, now when, when you adopted, the spirit of adoption means you were handpicked. I don't know if anybody been adopted up in here. I don't know if you're watching online. But if you've been adopted, baby, lift your head up. Stick your chest out. Because you was handpicked. Yeah. Yeah, mama. Mama and daddy, them, they did that thing when they birthed out. What they birthed out. But baby, they had to select you. They had to look at pictures of you. They had to go home and have conversations about you. They weren't looking at her. They weren't looking at your size. But they was looking at what they found on the inside. And they kept looking at your picture. They kept calling your name. And they're looking at six, seven, eight, nine, or ten of them. But then all of a sudden, I don't know if it's the way that you twist your hair. I don't know if the way that you smile, that's different from everybody else. But they say, that's the one, that's the one, that's the one, that's the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Being handpicked is to be chosen, not only chosen. You know that sometimes mother and dad, they, they pushed out what they pushed out. And some of you, they called a mistake. But I came to serve notice that you are not a mistake. That God knew you while you was yet in that mother's womb. He had a purpose over your life while you was yet in that mother's womb. But watch this. Watch this. But when you was adopted, they don't say you was a mistake. You was chosen and wanted. They had to want you. They filled our paperwork for you. <laughs> so when God, when you was adopted to this family, God handpicked you out of the litter. He chose you. You didn't choose him. He said, when a child is adopted, he or she becomes binding legal arrangements. When you adopt it, somebody say legal arrangements. So Jesus said, he said, simply when you approach the throne of grace, 
You got to have the mentality that you belongs there. You got to have the mentality that you belongs there. Some of you, even though I'm your leader, you invite me over to your house, I'm still kind of tiptoeing through your house. Yeah. Let, me, let me do it this way. Some of you invite Pastor Shay to your house. She going in there taking her shoes off and doing whatever because she was invited. I wasn't invited. But she brought me along. I'm holding her hand going through the house. And I'm whispering. Well, them grapes look good. They can give me a cup of them. And she telling me, baby, go ahead and get them. But no, they invited you. They didn't invite me. <laughs> so in other words. I don't have the mentality that I belongs there. So I'm kind of timid. I don't have that boldness. I don't have an understanding. But when I see my name on the invitation, I don't care who else is in the room. I can open the door and I can walk in there and I can say hey to everybody. I can walk in there and grab the grapes that I like. Why? Because I have an invitation. I approach him knowing that I belong still. I belong still. So in other words, I don't care what folks saying. I belongs here. Some of you got positions. <laughs> I don't know why this coming up. It ain't in my notes. Folks ain't quite respecting you yet. But I hear to tell you that you just walk knowing that you belongs there. If they gave you that position, in other words, there's some favor over your life. And there's something about you that they handpicked. For you to be in that position. I don't know who I'm talking to. But go in there on Monday and say, I belong here. He said, arrange by taking, binding, binding legal arrangements by taking on the name of the parents. Somebody shout legal arrangements. See, it gives me, or gives my child access to me anytime. See, when I approach him and acknowledge him as my father, I don't look at him as this big God. And it says, I have access to at any time. Not only any time, but anywhere. If they had a bad dream and needed to find safety in my bed, Jay Naya, DJ with his old self, if he wanted to get in my bed of safety, they would have. Why? Because I'm father. Unlike other children, they get full access to me and to my most personal space of my life. Especially during football season when I want to watch my Gators beat Georgia Bulldogs this, this year. This year. If they want to I was all right. I was all right. <laughs> if, if they 
wanted to crowd my space in a game like that, I would leave the game. Why? Because I'm their father. As much as I love to see those gators, I bleed blue. <laughs> but I'll pause for their needs. Why? Because I'm the father. It's just when they call on my phone, I'm going to answer. And not only is I'm going to answer, I'm ready to listen. That's the way your God is. When you approach him, he's ready to listen. Oh, you ought to put those hands together right there. You see? You see? I'm ready to listen at all your problems. For the Bible says, cast all your cares upon me, for I care it for you. Say, I'm ready to listen. Because I'm hand picked. <laughs> Matthew 7. We're going to get out of here. 7, starting at verse 9. We're going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of here. I can stop it here, but let me finish this first. Matthew 7, 9. It says, Are what man is there of you? Whom, if his son acts bread, will he give him a stone? Verse 10 says, Or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? Somebody say verse 11. If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts. Okay, I'm going to read it again. If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children. How much more shall your father which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him. Look at what he's saying now. Look at what he's saying. Verse 11, I just get this revelation. He said, even being evil, you yet know how to give good gifts. Okay, what are you saying? Before you got saved, some of you already had kids. You were still clubbing. You were still doing your thing. You were getting drunk, smoking your weed, doing whatever you wanted to do. But when it came to your kids, you did right by them. Even though you didn't have all your I's dotted, uh, even though you didn't have all your T's crossed, uh, you still did right by them. He said evil, but yet still give good gifts. <laughs> even when, when you had to do some things that, that you can't tell nobody about. When you were struggling to pay the bills, to put food on the table and to close them, there were some things that you may have had to do that was ungodly. But at the end of the day, you made sure that little Jojo and Bobby and them, Peaches and Keishas, they was right, they was good. Evil, but yet know how to give good gifts. Your relationship may be busted and tore up, and the husband acting up or the boyfriend acting up, and you you stand in that relationship, but yet you're making sure the kids are good. He said he didn't say he didn't say gift, but he said. Good gifts. 
which means you select them. <laughs> you don't just give them a gift. You select the gifts because you want to make sure that it's right. Because you know the things that you've done in life. I often tell my son, DJ, listen, man, what you're doing, I already done. What you're doing, you can't outdo me doing it. I was the king of it. I was doing it in my sleep. So don't think you're running game on me. <laughs> and he go to laughing here. But what you're doing, I already done it. So I can tell you it's not that I'm mad at you when I see you do it, but I know the outcome. I can't get mad because you're doing it. Why? Because i done it. But I can tell you why not to do it. Why do I tell you not to do it? Because I had an EF number that said 35, 38, 29. Okay, y'all don't know what I said. I said I had an EF number, which is a prison number that said 35, 38, 29. That's why I can tell you not to do it. Because at the end of the day, it's no good in it. That moment can destroy your life. So I select the gift. <laughs> can give you something. I won't give it to you if I know that it is going to hurt you. You can be mad, but if you listen to me, I can tell you about them jokers that's kicking in your car when, you are, when your tank is full, when you buying the latest Jordans, when you look good, they all in there riding with you, but when you broke and disgusted, when you need a favor out of them, you can't find them nowhere. You got money, you don't know who really like you. Because they all yes man, yes man, yes man. All of them say yes to everything that you are saying. But as soon as you don't have no money, yeah, who you talking to? <laughs> I don't know who, what, what, say what now? But it's the same thing that you told them when you had money. And they, yes, I got it. I do it. I do. It. But when it's all gone, select, select the gifts. He said. He said. He said. How much more? Can you stand to your feet. Select them. You don't just give them anything, but you carefully select them, which is a father that can be trusted. The first thing I did with my baby girl, I put her on the bed, I made her turn around, and I said, now fall backwards. She said, but you, you going to catch me? I say, fall and see. But it took her forever to fall. She'll do this and then she'll rear back up. Tell me, no, is, is, she, you, is you there? I say, yeah, I'm still right here. But I was serious because I wanted her to understand that when you fall, I'm going to catch you. And I said, baby, do it. And she did it. And she fell in my arms and you should have seen the smile that said, I can trust you. When you approach him as your father, he will listen. He will listen. And as he's listening, he's releasing. But he's not releasing anything. He's releasing the best. 
And I came to let you know this morning that you can trust him. Come on and put those hands together. Come on and put those hands together. Come on, you can do better than that. You just found out that your God gives good gifts. Come on, you can put those hands together. Come on, put those hands together. He's worthy. Come on, put those hands together. When you approach him, when you approach him, when you approach him, you counsel the assignment of the enemy. You counsel the assignment. And I'm going to share one more thing about my family. When I first was with them boys, they would say, is them your step boys? No. No. They mine. They mine. I don't care what we went through. I don't care about the disagreements. But you all are mine. And when you approach God in prayer, as your father, he said, you don't care what you went through, what arguments you had, what disagreements you had. He said, your minds. What it is that you need, you need, I'm here. That's how you get results. That's how you. Release prayers that hits the mark. Acknowledge him as your father. Put those hands together. <laughs> Amen. You can be seated. To the offerings, but can you just embrace yourself? He's releasing a sweet spirit in this place. A sweet spirit. Just take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Do it again. Inhale. Exhale. And when you do it for the last time, I want you to say, He got me. Take that deep breath. Exhale. Now shout, He got me. Amen. Amen. Let's, let's prepare ourselves for our offerings. Some of y'all he embracing and he's he ain't fit to turn you loose. <laughs> he handpicked you. And if you will govern yourself for uh, our tithes and our offerings. Amen. I feel the Holy Ghost. Y'all, y'all leaders gonna be looking crazy. I, I don't know what's going on with me, but I'm feeling something uh, for the last week or so. I have been really feeling the the presence of, of of the Holy Spirit. I have been having dreams, visions. I, I don't know what God is doing, but all I can tell you all to get ready. 
Because whatever he's doing on the inside of us, it's going to be released in his house. And he's doing something. Me, me and the wife quite, can't quite put our hands out. I mean, I'm Sister Gara. But it's something strange. One Sunday, y'all going to come up in here and we're going to act a fool. <laughs> Amen. Amen. If you will, govern yourself and let's get your ties ready. And we're just going to ask for a $30 seed, if you can. But if you really, really enjoyed this word, if you really caught the revelation of him being your father, and you want to add 30 more and make it $60, because I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sow this one to my father for just being there for me, for keeping me, for opening doors for me. When I couldn't keep myself, for sticking closer to me, better than a friend. And for giving me the invitation into the throne of grace. So I'm going to sow 60 along with my tithes. But I'm going to ask that you sow your 30. If you feel the need to sow the 60, do so. I speak to you online as well, the same anointing, the same word level, the same blessings, you shall receive as well. Amen? So if you have those tithes and offerings ready, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to ask this side to come. Bring your tithes, bring your offerings. And online, we ask that you so you can see what we have, the ways of giving. And while this side is coming, we're going to ask that this side to my right, if you will, you can bring yours. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to ask everyone in the the Miller section here, you can bring your tithes and offerings. Amen. Amen. If you're standing, we'll bless your offerings. Online, if you're watching, you have given, we ask that you point your hands towards your television, your screen, whatever you're watching us from. We ask that you point your hand towards us, point of contact, um, that we're releasing the same anointing in this house. We're releasing it through our lives as well. Father, we thank you. Father, dying in heaven, we thank you. Thank you first for your loving kindness, your mercy, your grace. Thank you for being a good, good God. Thank you for being a father. Father, now, as your word says, that obedience is better than sacrifice. We have been obedient by giving our tithes and our offerings. For which you said that you will open up a window of heaven that we would not have room to receive. Not only that, but you said according to your word that you will rebuke the devourer for our sake. We we'll ask now that you will look down from heaven. We we'll ask that you will look over the sea and that you will watch over it, that you will rebuke any delays and the hindrance that may try to stop this seed from producing a 100-fold harvest. We speak now that you release the climate, whatever we need, that this seed may grow. We ask that you touch, change the, 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 the temperature of the air, change the temperature of the ground for which this seed 
will come forth. It will come forth a hundredfold. We speak now to the enemy that you have no place. That you will not come and devour or eat up our seed. We rebuke you now that you have no place. We cancel your assignment. But this harvest will come forth. We ask now as we release this word over. We ask now God that you add the increase. We ask that you stretch forth your hands. We don't know what everyone need but God you do. Someone need a miracle of healing. Through this seed we ask that you release healing now. Someone need a husband. Someone need a wife. We ask that through this seed you release a companion. Through this seed right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever light that one may have, we ask that you fulfill it now. According to your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout amen. 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 We have testimony real quickly. We have another mic.